Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So we are one collect gold away from finishing the Rosy Outlook solo event and unlocking the new dragon. So, without further ado, milestone completed! Rosy Outlook, Rosy Dragon. Pretty good! So we have completed the event in its entirety now, which is pretty sweet. And obviously we get the Rosy Dragon as our reward. And we finished with 18 hours and 27 minutes remaining. So we actually had quite a decent amount of time left, despite how many days I missed. I probably missed like three entire days worth of resets minimum. But there we go, we got the Rosy in here. And if we put her into our hatchery, she's going to take 21 hours and 11 minutes to finish hatching. So... I cannot wait to get another event dragon. I mean, we have a ton just scattered around everywhere. But you know, again, the rosy dragon has never been available before and was only brought out in the most recent update as far as I'm aware. So, you know, I'm pretty happy. Another thing to add to the collection, which does also mean, like, trying to find space for it eventually as well. But, you know, that's, that's just how it is. But, how did you guys do in the event anyway? I know that some people that I've been speaking to have been like, Oh yeah, I finished it a while ago, not too bad. Then the other people are like, help, I'm still on tier 3, do you think I'll make it? Oh, you poor souls. I, I wish I could say yes, but obviously that's just not the case. But, you know, if you do need any extra help with the event, then please do comment. And then, maybe I'll be able to explain why you possibly went wrong, or just want like whatever you did because again we miss out on a lot of resets for this event and we still did it very very easily so i actually think it was super like simple this time around i mean it's the same as always but i don't know how easier or harder it was in comparison to the last solo event or whatever but you know i did it now don't care as long as it's finished completo dunno i'm all happy but it is an epic, but obviously the Rosie's typing isn't amazing. It's not a legendary or anything, so I'm definitely not going to be using it in the team. But, you know, we can always take a look at it in battle tomorrow when we hatch it, or whenever I decide to hatch it, at least. But, you know, the event's over. That's worry out of my brain. And then the Great Dragon Race will be starting just after the event time frame. Well, just before the event finishes, actually. So then we'll get back to collecting more clan points and stuff like that. We'll probably never get MVP, though, because I just, I'm not around enough. But still, we get to do all that fun stuff again, because recently it's just been event, enchantment, event, enchantment, and, like, nothing else, pretty much. But when the Dragon Race comes back, we can go back to doing some of that stuff. And maybe I'll finally show off all the different breeding combinations for anyone that doesn't know them. Because I don't remember them off the top of my head, but there's ways to breed the fire, water, um, wind dragons and stuff like that. So you only have to wait like 10 seconds, pretty much, for the breeding to finish. Which is easy peasy, lemon squeezy at the end of the day. And again, now we are looking for earth and shadow materials. And we did get our battle chest for today, so let's claim this bad boy. What have you got for me? I'm gonna flip him. Some lead. Oh my! Oh, game. Don't do this to me. We got legendary and what we needed. Whoa! When does that ever happen? You crazy. Because it's the fossil that we need them for. So, how many do we need? 26 out of 28. Uh. Uh, do, 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 do. We need eight of those. We just don't have enough trinkets at the moment. That's the only thing. Uh, but we'll have enough trinkets very soon anyway. And that should be done skis for him. Oh, not too bad at all. Pretty good. But, and I know I just got a Skype notification. I said this yesterday. I was like, okay, I'm going to turn all my notifications off so it doesn't happen again. And what do I do? I don't turn my notifications on again. Just, uh, I need to remember in future. But who is this trying to message me? Someone important? Kind of. But, you know, they can wait. Our time is our time. Oh, but, I don't know. How are you guys finding everything? Uh, I just don't even know. Give me like two seconds to message. 
There we go. I have told them to leave me alone. <laughs> Easy peasy. But these enchantment fights are obviously still going to be really good for us. We seem to be staying in the 600 rank range, like, really easily recently. Which is good, don't get me wrong. Because it's literally just been me doing enchantment fights and then just leaving my game for a day. And then going back the same amount that we just gained. So, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to get into 600 and then just stay in there. Because you can get your battle chest then. You get some okay materials out of the chests as well. Obviously. And anything that's like 800 plus, you'll end up finding rogue level 70s. Sometimes you do in here as well, but no one here as frequently. So, I want to stay here. I like getting all my green stuff. And green is like my second slash dual first favorite color because my actual favorite color is aqua blue the more bluey tinge to it but bluey green like the the blue over here in the top left sort of thing is like one of my favorite colors so you know i like green i like blue i don't like pink at all sorry if you like pink i'm not a fan uh i can go with some nice yellows every now and then but like blue yellow green and orange they're pretty sweet colors it's like what what am i talking about i'm just talking about my favorite colors i sound like i'm about five years old but i mean it messes with me so I'm, oh god we're actually gonna lose this fight aren't we this is what happens when i get distracted i say this every time someone should shout at me Oh no, I comment is only just alive. If he has any other dragons even close to level 40, yep, there's no way. So I guess we'll just use Andy for this then. I was going to say, if he has any other dragons like level 40 plus, we're just going to die anyway. So, you know, we've got no choice but to switch out. That's a little bit annoying. Just two random level 55s fully enchanted. And a fully enchanted Stardust. Like, come on, man. Come on. Ay, caramba! And plus we are due a purple chest, literally any fight now. But we don't really have any more resets to go along with for now, so I'm just going to have to leave it. And, uh... Oh, we've got all of our auto battle tickets to use as well. Again, I always have to do this while I'm actually recording, because otherwise I just won't do these blue fights for the day. And that is very, very naughty. Don't do what I do. Always do these blue fights. No matter what. You get so much food, so much gold, and so much XP from it. There's literally no reason not to, apart from laziness. And being lazy is bad. So, don't do it. It's like, do what I say, not what I do. Sort of thing. I can be a hypocrite if I want to be. I'm very frequently a hypocrite, in fact. But, you know, just follow my advice. I'm not lying. I'm not out to spite you just trying to help you at the end of the day but we'll do this fight anyway just to like not feel completely bad about just auto battling everything in this game and obviously even Andy can one shot all of this stuff even though they're resistant you know soon enough we will end up leveling up Andy even more we still have to upgrade all of the temples and that but one day you just wait. He will be a fully enchanted level 80. And we'll just stomp. We'll stomp even more than we already do. He's a, a beast. Andy the beast. I mean, he looks pretty cute. He doesn't look like a big scary monster, which is kind of misleading since he's like one of the strongest dragons in the game. Not base damage wise, but... You know, I've had this talk before a million times, so you should know what I'm going to say by now. But, I'm not sure what else we're going to do in the land of DML. Tomorrow we are going to have the Mutant as the Dragon of the Week, obviously. But I won't be able to do a video on that until that night. So it's going to be a late upload anyway. And uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be any more news that's announced uh, tomorrow. But we'll just wait and see for now anyway. 
then we gotta hatch our Rosie and all that stuff. But if there's any other videos you guys want me to make, or think about making in the meantime, you know, leave your comments below. Let me know what you want me to do stuff on. Is there anything that new players don't really get advice on that you want me to cover? I'm sure there's probably something somewhere, but... Oh my goodness, look at all these enchanted guys, what the heck? Like, I don't think we can do this fight, but we might as well just try it, just in case. And, um... You know, I don't think we're gonna use the Striker Dragon for the next day, so I'm gonna unleash his power as well. I just wanna see if we can actually do this fight here, because, I mean, they're only like level 71s and level 72s, and they're just the basic dragons, but... The, the problem is that, obviously, fully enchanted and he has shadow, which is the biggest problem of all. I mean, we're not going to kill him if we do that. Uh, we might just be able to do a lot of damage to this guy. Like, look at all that damage. Oh, that's feisty. Really, I should have used my stone shield on my clay instantly. Yeah, we, we should have stone shielded... Wait, I took three dragons into this fight, didn't I? What? What? Game, what? What's going on? Uh, well that went terribly. I swear to goodness gracious I clicked that dragon. Unless I missed, I'm actually going insane. Uh, oh well, that was an utter failure. Just take it for what it was. And, uh, yes, I am moronic is all that I have to say. But, you know, there isn't too much else for me to do for today apart from just more blue map fights, but I can't be bothered. Typical, right? But, you know, for now, if you're still going with the event and you're, like, super close to getting the Rosa, you know, I wish you the very best of luck. Make sure you don't miss any resets. Come back every hour for the collect gold. That's it. Just once an hour. Super easy to remember. And you should get your hands on the cutie woody little egg over here. But anyway, for now, I'm going to skadoodle. So thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you want to, sub if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you then.